Hi guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a review video of some new products that have just released from Fenty Beauty. And I think everyone knows what they are. She's come out with a range of concealers, a range of setting powders. She's come out with a powder brush, a concealer brush, so many things she's come out with. I picked up a few bits, not everything. I brought mine from Harvey Nichols. I will link it in the description box for you guys to go and check it out. So this will be a try on video, but it'll also be a wear test as well. Today is Tuesday the, I wanna say 15th, I think it is the 15th. And I'm not doing much today just because I have got work tonight. So I'll just be editing some videos potting around everywhere and then just getting a little bit of sleep for work tonight and then I will do a wear test in between them and then after at the end I'll give my overall thoughts. So I did order three of her products online and they come yesterday. So I did get one of her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I got this one in lavender. This was like the lightest one that I saw. There was one called Butter but it was more like a yellow toned setting powder. I did pick up one of her concealers because I just had to and this is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer and it's in 110. This to me looked like the right shade online. I'm not sure if it will match me on my skin but I'm going to be trying it out and seeing if it does match. It was kind of more my colour that I found on there. So I think this one will be a perfect matte I'm not sure. And then I got the 170 powder puff setting brush. I didn't buy the concealer brush just because, I don't know, I just didn't really want, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I had it in my cart, everything was gonna go through and I thought, nah, I don't need that concealer brush. So I just got the powder brush instead. I love the feel of the brushes. The design is absolutely beautiful. And it's got 170 setting. I don't know if you can see that on there because the light's just there. And then it's just got Fenty Beauty. Now I've got one of her brushes already, the foundation brush. I don't typically like that brush very much or the foundation. It just doesn't work for me. I find it very drying. The wearability of it is not very good. I have to always retouch. It just looks very flaky on me. I have got combination skin, so oily and dry. But it's just so dry when I've got that foundation on. Sadly, I really want to love it so much. So I'm hoping this concealer is good. And then the powder. I have got some bronzer on. But I am going to sculpt it a little bit more with some concealer. And set it, obviously, and see how that works. So let's get on to the products I'm actually reviewing today. I can't wait to try this concealer out. And it does say that it is instant photo soft coverage for all long wear, light as air and crease proof. That's the test. Because my concealers always crease even though I set them. Like, why? I have got, I know I've got a line somewhere on one of my eyes. Though I did yesterday put a full mask on, hydrated on the eyes, hydrated this morning, literally slathered the moisturiser on to try and get it nice and smooth and soft and no creases. Let's see if it works. So this is the bottle for the concealer. It reminds me of the eyelid primer, which is this one here. It's just got a darker cap on the eyelid primer and then the Fenty Beauty on the bottle is darker it's in like a gray color and this is in white so they are similar just not the same so this is obviously a doe foot applicator and i'm actually going to apply one side with a sponge and then the other side with a brush that i already have and use for concealer as well and i'm just going to do those two just to see if there's any different i normally do well i switch up between doing sponge and a brush some days it all just depends really but I am going to do both and see which one applies a bit better, really. Yep. So before I do, obviously, the concealer, I want to show you the setting powder. And again, this is in lavender. I love this packaging. It says, light as air setting, a photo soft finish for all. Let's see. I love the shape of this setting powder. Hi, guys. It is definitely reflecting. And I just love it. I love how big it is. I love... I just love, I love, love, love the packaging. So this is a 28 gram setting powder. I've just looked over to my other ones and I've got one that is 35, one that is 17. So it is a good size. So the inside is a bit like this. I love the lid of the setting powder. And then the top is just one that you pull back. 
and it's just got a sticky seal on which I'm going to take off because they do provide you with a Fenty Beauty little seal, little cap on top. So I'm just going to swatch the powder so it's just like this really, it's white and that's the setting powder so yeah it will work for me. With the setting powder I am going to be using this brush to apply it with and see how good this one is. Though I don't think you can go wrong with a powder brush. I mean, it, it feels okay. It feels very soft. The bristles are absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Now I'm going to apply the concealer and see how that is. I'm really excited to try this one out. Obviously, I didn't like the foundation, so I'm hoping this one is okay. We'll see. So on one side, I'm going to use a beauty blender, and this is just from Real Techniques. And then on the other side, I'm just going to use a brush that I would normally use, and this is the... JH08 brush from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I think this is the Everything Creamy brush. I'm not sure it works as a concealer brush for me. So hopefully that's what it is, but I think it is. I think it is. So let's get on to applying. So I'm just gonna do one eye at a time, just in case it's really fast drying. So I'm just gonna do the Beauty Blender side first. I'm just gonna put what I would normally put. And I think that's an okay color. I think that's what I'm gonna put on so far. Take my beauty blender and then blend it in. I have got my mirror down here. That has definitely brightened it, hasn't it? Like, it's not just my lights, is it? <laughs> So now onto the other side, the brush side. I'm just gonna apply the same amount. And blend that in. I'm sorry if you hear any snoring, my cat is asleep over there. To make quite a noise. So that is the brush side. I like both sides. I love how it's finished on both sides by the sponge and the brush. Yeah, I really like that. So now I'm just going to kind of sculpt a little bit and make my contour more sharp. So I'm only going to put a little bit. That wasn't in line. <laughs> and then the brush on this side. Okay, so now that the concealer is on, now it's time to bake away and I'm excited for this part. So I'm just going to put the product into the lid. This is what I always do with my powders. Need a lot more than that, love. So again, I'm going to apply the setting powder on this side with a sponge. So I'm just going to apply that under my eye. And then under my contour. And then on the other side, I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to apply this powder on this side. Mm, it's got a nice smell to it, this powder. So a little bit of powder does go a long way. I'm going to let that sit and bake and take a thumbnail because this is just a look in itself, isn't it? The setting powder has been on for a while now, so I'm going to take it off using the Fenty Beauty powder brush and just flick it off. Okay, so I've taken off all the powder and it looks very, very bright in the areas, though I don't see any creasing, which I am happy about. 
So my thoughts on the concealer at the moment is it blends out really, really nice with the sponge and the brush. They both, you know, it highlighted the area, brightened it, and yeah, it wasn't too thick, but it wasn't like really, really sheer, so that was quite nice. And then the powder, I love the packaging for the powder. But when I applied it, it did look very, very light, but a little did go a long way, so I was happy about that. But I will do a wear test during the day. So far, it looks okay. I just hope that the powder doesn't like flake and crease and look drying. That's the only thing I hate about concealer and powder and the eye that it can make it look drying which I don't like that look at all it's a bit like foundation like sometimes it will dry me out here and it just looks absolutely horrible so hopefully it doesn't do that during the day so far it's okay so it's around 10 30 at the moment I'll be doing check-ins with you during the day and doing a wear test to see what it's like after certain hours and yeah, like I said, I haven't got a really busy day. I'm just doing a bit of editing. So I'll see you guys whenever I do a check-in. So this is the first check-in and it looks really, really good actually. Uh, there's no really no creasing. So this will probably be the only kind of like check-in. I'll probably check in again at like six o'clock and then end it there because then I have to go to work. But so far it's looking really, really good. It's not dry or it just it feels nice as well it, it doesn't feel like I've got loads of powder on or loads of concealer it's not heavy so I'm actually really really liking it so far I'm just gonna do a bit more editing and then tidy up a little bit and then I'll probably get a bit of sleep and then check back in with you guys around six o'clock maybe half six something like that before I go to work but so far so good so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit Okay guys, so it's coming up to 6 o'clock now and I've been asleep for a little while. My contour and I think the concealer and setting powder on my cheeks have rubbed off from being asleep, which I was obviously going to happen, but it wasn't what I was really looking out for. I was really wanting to know what it's like under my eyes because that's my problem there is, if you get what I mean, because I do have a lot of creasing under my eyes if it's not set properly. It's looking okay. It might be a little bit of of mascara under there but it does look okay it still looks nice and bright which I love but at the moment it's okay I just think I am going to redo my base makeup put the concealer and the powder back on and then test it out in the 12 hours that I work I'm sorry if you can hear my cat snoring I wait but she's just doing it when I'm filming to be a cat hey to be a cat to sleep all day to snore your head off It'd be lovely so yeah so I'm going to redo my whole face and then go to work and test it that way because I am obviously working for 12 hours it's going to be really really hot it's always hot in work and I'm going to be running around a lot that's I think that is the major wearability if it's still going to be there if it creases if it gets really dry so on to the actual products I'm loving the concealer it's a perfect match for my skin tone and it's very light, it's not heavy, so it, you can't really feel it. The powder, again, I'm loving, I love the smell. It's quite light and it doesn't feel like thick or anything like that. It's not like drying, drying. I feel like there's a little bit of dryness here uh, when I look in the mirror, but not when I look on camera. It's weird again. But I do really, really like it. I thought, because obviously I've had to go to sleep and obviously this has rubbed off that it's going to be patchy, and but it's not, it's like all off now so that's okay the brush I don't think is necessary it's it's super soft really really nice it, the packaging is beautiful but it's kind of like too big to actually get into the actual inner corner to set that and then go up it, it came down it made the powder come down a little bit too far than what I would normally do but it's nice and soft the reason again why I say it wouldn't necessary because it is 26 pounds that is a lot of money for one single brush. It's even more than the setting powder. The setting powder is 24 and then the brush is 26. So it's crazy that a brush is more than the actual product. So I don't think this is necessary. You saw me do one side with a sponge. It works. You can get right into the corner with the tip of the sponge to set that area. So I would probably, again, use the setting powder with a sponge just because it was a lot easier and I could put it more precise, whereas on a brush it was kind of like falling off and I had to try and 
put it where I wanted it to be. I think the concealer brush is £19 and that's the same price as the actual concealer which is £19 as well. So overall at the moment I think the products that I did buy are quite good except from the powder brush. So I'm really excited to keep using them and hopefully it will be my new favourite thing. Hopefully. That's it for this video guys, I hope you liked it, if you didn't, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell, a ding ding. Also come and follow me on my Instagram, it's going to be somewhere down here, yes just here. See you soon guys, until next time.